Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 22 of Ezekiel chapter 36. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you went. I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God, when I prove myself holy among you in their sight. For I will take you from the nations, gather you from all the lands, and bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will be careful to observe my ordinances. You will live in the land that I gave to your forefathers, so you will be my people, and I will be your God. Moreover, I will save you from all your uncleanness, and I will call for the grain and multiply it, and I will not bring a famine on you. I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the produce of the field, so that you will not receive again the disgrace of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good, and you will loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and your abominations. I am not doing this for your sake, declares the Lord God. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, O house of Israel. The Lord wants to give each of us a heart of flesh, so we will be responsive to Him. A tender heart assumes the form He desires, much like a lump of clay that allows the potter to shape the vessel. And to those of us who are believers and who have accepted and obeyed previous guidance, the Holy Spirit can continue to give wisdom and instruction. Resistance to God will cause a hardening, but those who regularly submit to Him quickly address sin and return to the place of obedience and blessing. When we yield to the Spirit's promptings, our heart becomes increasingly pliable and sensitive to His leading. Then, God can give us greater understanding of His Word. Christians with a responsive heart tend to stay connected to the body of Christ and seek to build up and encourage others. Such individuals are not only receptive to what God wants to tell them, they're also willing to listen and be corrected by others. This week, as you read your Bible and pray, open your heart to the words of God, listen for His instructions, and rely on the Spirit's power to help you yield. Let Him shape you into a beautiful vessel.